Hi guys, the last time we talked about my first batch of monarchs, I was telling you that I dropped all but one of them off at a place called the Monarch Program in Encinitas. I wasn't able to drop off the last one, this one, monarch number nine. I wasn't able to drop him off last time because he wasn't completely in his chrysalis form yet. But as you can see now, he is in his chrysalis form. So I need to be able to transport him. And also I need to be able to give him a way to um, hang still in this direction. I need to be able to attach him to something where he can still be hanging in this direction so that when he comes out of his chrysalis, he has a way for his wings to hang and to dry out and you know to pump and do everything he needs to do in order to develop as a butterfly. So uh, the tools that I have found best for loosening a chrysalis are a Q-tip that you can get wet. So I have a little container of water here that I'm going to be dipping the Q-tip into and a pair of tweezers. So um, I'm going to go ahead and hopefully get this into a position where you can see what I'm doing. So the first step is to take the Q-tip and get it wet. And then what you want to do is just run the Q-tip around the chrysalis on the thing that it's adhered itself to. The reason you want to do this is because there's a bunch of silk for his silk pad that is all the way around the, the chrysalis in a fairly good diameter or fairly good radius. I don't know if you can see it, but I do have some silk that's starting to come loose right here. So you just keep rubbing around until you get this to loosen up a little bit. Silk on this side doesn't want to loosen up as easily as the silk on the other side, but it's coming. I don't know if you can see. Hopefully you can see that it's loosening up. Okay. Once you feel like you've gotten the silk pad loose on all sides, the next step is to take your tweezers and to grab that silk pad and loosen it further see how easy that was so now that I've got it like that And it's best if you can get as much silk as possible. That way there's still something for him to hang from. So I have a piece of cardboard because I want him to be able to hang as freely as possible. A piece of cardboard that I put the silk on and a piece of tape. And voila! Now I can take this cardboard and I can put a pin through it and stick it to anything I want to stick it to, or I could even adhere this cardboard to anything I want to with tape or whatever else. And the chrysalis still, you have the ability to put it at whatever angle you want and still have the chrysalis hang at the angle that he needs to in order to properly open his little wings when he comes out as a butterfly. I hope you found this informational.